Okay, let's really get into this. Is this like I get to know me? Does that count? But anyway, I'll answer it anyway. Minnie's bitches look at her. What kind of thirst? Being popping is a curse. Your man wanna look at my skirt first. I make him fill up my purse. 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 Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Adiola Patron. You know the vibes already. And today, yeah, you know what? Yeah, I thought let me do a get to know me tag. Like one of my girls pulled me up like Adiola, you've never done a get to know me tag. Like you just popped up on this new channel, and then you'll be like, hi, it's my sister, and you're like, rah, like you had a sister. I'm like, that's just food. You're right, you know. Like you don't even know me. Like you don't know me. So let's just sit down. Let's get to know each other. Let's get you know. Let's get close. Come closer to me, okay? So yeah, I asked you guys on Instagram because you know the old get to know me tag, like that old get to know me tag. The questions that are so outdated. But yeah, so I asked you guys a few questions in terms of getting to know me. Allow me to introduce myself. So basically, before I ever even had YouTube, before I was even like posting on Instagram or Twitter like that, obviously everyone had social media and I was trying to figure out what I wanted my act to be. And you know, back in the day, everyone had like boss this or baby this or princess this. And I just felt like none of them really went with my, it didn't roll off my name like Adiola. But I don't know, just none of them was really rolling with my vibe, you know? And I kind of wanted a boss vibe. Like I wanted something that was like boss, like, you know, I think it was like boss baby proper like cool back then and I was like you know what let me see what other way I can say boss in a different language so then as I was like typing it in how to say boss in French because I think then I was in secondary school and everybody used to do like French was the language that was my language to do in it so I was done how to say boss in French and then it, it was like patron or something like that which is like a female boss but I didn't like how it was spelled I just felt like it looked it didn't really look nice so then I was like you know what I'm gonna I add an extra N and an extra E and then take off the hyphen and then it's, so it's like Patron and I really liked how that sounded that's why it spelt the way it's spelt so if you ever see anyone spell Patron the way it is it was from me okay I feel like with my family, my family is so big, like one day I might just be doing a vlog and I could be like, oh, this is my cousin. Or one day I could be like, oh yeah, this is my auntie. And I feel like, especially if you're from an African household, you kind of know how it is. Like some people you'll even call your cousin or you'll introduce as your cousin or your auntie and they're not actually blood related. So I feel like, don't feel like you've met all my family because you've seen a YouTube video, first of all. And I also want to say, the only reason why you're seeing my sister now is because now I actually have my own channel so it's like it makes sense for me to bring other parts of my family on my channel do you know what I mean so and the only reason why I haven't mentioned it before because normally when people are like oh how many brothers or sisters you have I just automatically I just count the ones that I have grown up with in terms of our household like I have two brothers and that's what I would say but I do have half brothers and half sisters and stuff like that that just gets all complicated and it's just so long to explain if they was around me in a vlog then I'll be like oh yeah by the way this is my brother but I feel like just to like name I have this I have that it's just long So for those of you, if you don't know, yes, I did have another channel. I'm going to answer another question as well because someone else was like, did I delete my other channel? So I'm just going to answer it all in this question. So yeah, I had a channel before with a group of friends. When we first started that channel, it was literally just fun. There was no money making motives behind it. There was no brand concept behind it. There was no like, I want to work with this brand. I want to have these future goals in terms of when we created that channel it was just literally all fun and games and I felt like you know as I grew up I kind of realized the opportunities that I could have and I felt like as I was growing up as a person as well I was getting to know that I actually just like to work with myself I don't want to have to weigh it on someone else before I can do something or be like is it okay if I do this do you know what I mean and I feel like the way my work ethic is the way I like to work is like I like to work on my timing like I don't want to be like oh I have to wait for this I have to wait for this. if I would decide that I want to do five videos in a week it's like I can do the five videos that I want to do I don't have to wait that's like you subscribe to a couple channel if that couple channel and that one person is just still doing videos it's not fair on the people that subscribe to the couple channel because you subscribe for couples and it's just like this one person that just keeps uploading by themselves by themselves by themselves it just doesn't really make sense so then as I was thinking about it like that and then like when you get brand opportunities 
opportunities they're a bit confused as well they're like so are you a couple like management were finding it hard to pitch me because it's like are you a couple or are you not in terms of like growing as a brand it just made sense for me to just for everyone really to just start their own channel yes the channel did get deleted it was a mutual thing i just want my content that i've been creating now to be coming up at first i did kind of find it hard i think the thought of it was very scary because i just felt like all these years that i have run such a big platform with other people now it's like i'm just starting all over again and it's kind of like i wasted all them times doing all that content kind of thing so yeah i was a bit nervous how am i finding it so far I'm finding it really good i feel like it's like a journey and i feel like because now the mind frame that i have now doing it it's like i have the experience i know what i'm doing i feel like you know when you're doing something for fun and games you don't really get to watch the progress because you're not really taking it in you're just doing it whenever you want to do it that's how it was before whereas now it's like i feel a lot more connected like i feel like all my videos that are upload flow like people will be like oh yeah we understand why she's just done that because in her last video she done blah 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 so i feel like a lot more connected with you guys is this like a get to know me? Does that count? But anyway, I'll answer it anyway. I feel like with YouTube, it really fluctuates. I feel like people think YouTubers make mad amount of money. And I'm not disputing that some YouTubers do make crazy amount of money because, you know, they have the engagement. They have, like, crazy following. The money they make on YouTube is, like, crazy. But obviously, I feel like everyone knows we get paid through our ads. A large amount of comes from brands, like, sponsorships and stuff like that. But if we're talking just YouTube ads, current get paid in dollars so at 2700 so in primary school I was when I used to live in London then I moved to Kent so I kind of had to end like I spent like the last few months of year six in my Kent primary school I wouldn't really say I was that popular because I was just really like shocked by what this Kent life was like growing up in London I don't really see, especially when you're kind of that age like in year six I never really used to see color I never really used to be like wow that person's that color and that person's that color and I'm this color but then when I moved to primary school in Kent it was like bro there's bare white people and I'm the only black person because obviously I literally just came from London I had all the slang like the way I was talking like the way they used to talk they used to have like their own kind of slang and they used to use like fountain pens I kind of went in a shell they already had all their clicks and stuff and I'm coming in at the end of primary school in my primary school I wouldn't say I was popular yeah, currently I have a Range Rover Evoque. I've got a 2019 Range Rover Evoque. And do you know what? I actually don't like it. Like, I liked it for a bit, but now I don't really like it. I have no love for my car at all. Like, when I look at my car, when I get in my car, I literally have no love for it at all. So now I'm thinking, I don't really know. Like, I'm still trying to figure out what car is me. It's just so basic. When I get in my car, I'm just like, I don't really want to have this car for long, if I'm being honest with you. I am like five, I think I'm five seven. I was born in East London, born in Homerton Hospital, and I grew up in Hackney. And it used to be so fun growing up on the block. And then at the end of year six, like towards the end of year six, that's when I moved to Kent. And then I grew up in Kent. But it's so funny because when I was in London, I got accepted into secondary school because, you know, everyone was going into secondary school. So if I had stayed in London, the secondary school I was supposed to go to was called Cardinal Pole. But then we'd moved to Kent just before everyone was going into year seven. In Kent, the primary school I went to was called Napier and then I went to a secondary school called Raynham Girls and then after Raynham Girls I went to sixth form which was called Chatham Grammar but it was a boys school but the sixth form was mixed and then after sixth form I went to Hertfordshire University okay let's really get into this no guy out here can ever claim me as an ex no guy can ever claim they've done a thing with me no guy can ever claim that we dated no guy can ever even claim that i've linked them it was just void one so i've only ever had one boyfriend yes it is hard i mean like when you when you're in 
talking in terms of like you know working with brands and like certain brands it is hard I find it really hard as I know it's like you have to prove yourself or show that you know oh hi I'm here and like, people like do watch me it's like you have to prove it it is hard I'm not gonna sit here and say that it's easy I don't know I obviously I feel like there is probably gonna be a time where I do come off of YouTube but to be fair I can still be a grandma vlogging my nanny life and the kind of sticks I'm using to support my back like are we not all gonna grow old do nannies not wanna shop do nannies not wanna see the latest comfy slippers so who's gonna tell me no but obviously it depends like if I still have the love for it at that age do you know what I mean but YouTube isn't like my end goal YouTube isn't my only focus if that makes sense it's not my only focus now and i don't plan for it to be my only focus i'm 25 years old my birthday is october 11. if you guys feel like you know me a lot more than you did previously and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video <laughs> bye guys Minnie's bitches looking hurt look how they thirst being poppin it's a curse your man wanna look at my skirt first I'll make him fill up my purse I'll make him fill up my purse I'll make him fill up my purse